Hello everyone, Neil Sausen here. Today's video, I would like to uh, talk about an exercise that I um, started in a previous video called The System by Freddy Gruber. Those of you who are not familiar with that video, you might want to refer to that video um, to get the background um, as to what I'm going to talk about today. Um, in that video, The System by Freddy Gruber, I um, talked about a technique uh, that Freddy showed me and others uh, for the development of the wrist and fingers and for uh, warming up. Uh, it's an excellent exercise for warm-ups and for getting the blood flowing in the hands and the fingers. And it goes like this. This is traditional grip and I will not be using any fingers in the left hand. Uh, it goes like this. This exercise is a warm-up for the system. Um, I'd like to talk about the left hand first. Uh, if you noticed, I did not use any fingers in that demonstration. Uh, the fingers are extended straight out. They're relaxed. The stick is balanced inside the grip, which is uh, uh, the base of the thumb and the index finger. Uh, the stick seesaws in the grip. It's the same action as a seesaw. Uh, just a quick uh, uh, overview. Uh, the first measure is our eighth notes, straight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. On one, two, three and four, the stick rebounds upward away from the pad. The stick is up, the hand is more or less down. I am in a reverse release position when the stick rebounds off the drum. That is the top of the wrist, and when I say the top of the wrist, I'm referring to this section right here. This is the top of the wrist, the middle of the wrist, the bottom of the wrist. The top of the wrist, is in a reverse release position. It is concave. It's like the bottom of a circle. That position is assumed on one, two, three, and four. On the ends of one, two, three, and four, I'm in a release position. Now the top of the wrist, this section of the hinge right here, is in a convex position. It's like, uh, you can liken it to the top of a circle or the top of the face of a clock. And when I put the two motions together, in the eighth note framework, this is the result. One and two and three and four and. So the wrist is actually doing this on every stroke. On one, two, three, and four, I'm in this position. The tip of the stick is up slightly. On the ends of one, two, three, and four, the top of the wrist is in this position. The top of the wrist is convex. The bottom of the wrist is concave. In the reverse release position, the top of the wrist is concave and the bottom the wrist is convex. Now, with the triplets, it's the same thing, except it's a three note group. With the 16th notes, also the same motion. However, the 16th notes will be simply twice as fast as the eighth notes. Uh, I like to use a metronome when I do this warm up. Um, I usually set the metronome anywhere from quarter note uh, 112 to 120. It's a good relaxed tempo range. Um, before I demonstrate this, uh, just a quick note on the right hand. The right hand system, I do use the fingers. The fingers open and close on each stroke. On one, two, three, and four, the fingers are open. The tip of the stick is facing up. On the ends of one, two, three, and four, I gently close the fingers and gently push the stick or squeeze the stick into the groove of the palm of the hand, this uh, main groove here next to the fatty part of the thumb. So between the two motions, it looks like this. One and two and three and four and Basically, it's just simply one and two and three and four and. That is why this is commonly referred to as the open-close technique or the push-pull technique, push-pull, push-pull. So, uh, the right hand basically is just, I start the stick uh, down uh, about an inch off the pad. The top of the hand, which is the knuckle side of the hand, is facing the ceiling, the palm is facing the floor. And I just drop the forearm and if you're relaxed enough, the fingers will just open because the action of the stick bouncing off the pad will just 
push the fingers open, but you must be relaxed. The second, third, and fourth fingers must be relaxed and accept the stick, accept the rebound, and the stick will just bounce up and down like this. Now, again, I uh, would recommend using a metronome. Uh, I have the metronome set today at 120. This exercise is a three measure phrase. It's a measure of eighth notes, two measure of eighth note triplets, two measure of sixteenth notes, alternating hands. It goes like this. I would suggest doing that anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes. Um, three measures with the left hand, three measures with the right hand, alternating. No fingers. The fingers are to be extended straight out in the left hand. When I say no fingers, I'm referring to the left hand traditional grip. And uh, they're relaxed and the stick just seesaws over the grip. All right, then the next phase of my warm up uh, routine, for want of a better word, is to now, with a traditional grip, I will start to incorporate the fingers. Now with the left hand traditional grip, the four fingers are used, they're brought into play. Basically, basically what I'm doing is the same thing that I just demonstrated, but this time uh, in the eighth note framework, the fingers will extend out, and when I say extend out, I just uh, stretch them out, all four fingers simultaneously, first, second, third, fourth fingers, on one, two, three, and four, and I bring them in towards the palm to form the left hand traditional grip on all the ands. So basically I'm just doing one and two and three and four and. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Hence the popular turn, open, close technique. Um, with the stick, and I'll do this without a metronome at first so you can see the, uh, how, it, how it works. Uh, eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Open, close, open, close, open, close. That's all it is. The stick still seesaws over the grip. I'm still employing the release, reverse release motion on one, two, three, and four. The top of the wrist is convex, the bottom is concave, and on the ends, the opposite is true. The top of the stick is con, the top of the hand rather is convex, and the uh, bottom of the hand or wrist is concave. Triplets. One, two, three, four, one and eight, two and eight, three and eight, four and eight. Uh, sixteenth notes, basically the same thing as eighth notes, but uh, twice as fast. One e and eight, two e and eight, three e and eight, four e and eight. Just open and close. Open on the eighth notes and close on all the e's and uhs. And when I close, I just kind of gently close the fingers around the stick to form the left hand traditional grip. That's all that is. The right hand. Uh, basically, is a carryover from the previous exercise. Um, that doesn't change. Two, threes, fours. Basically, the eighth notes again uh, are the same as the sixteenth notes, except the sixteenth notes are twice as fast. Okay, then as a continuation of my warm-up uh, procedure, I will increase the tempo uh, from. 112 to 120 up to 160 161 however this time i'm going to play one measure of eighth notes to one measure of eighth note triplets and that goes like this That, uh, I will do that for about five to 10 minutes at that uh, new increased tempo. And again, you can uh, find your own tempo range that's comfortable. You can use 160, 161 as a target tempo to shoot for. But I find that after I've done these three exercises, um, 
takes usually anywhere between 20 and, and 40 minutes. I find that my hands, fingers, wrists, arms are well lubed, warmed up, and I'm ready to jump into the to the actual practice session, whatever it is I'm going to do that day. And this uh, procedure works for me. You can use the system to warm up, which was originally the way it was taught to me. It was a warm up exercise. And uh, hopefully it will help you as well to uh, warm up your hands. Uh, and then you can go on and practice whatever it is you want to do. So that's one little um, uh, tip that I like to pass on to you. I thank you for listening and uh, I'll see you again in the future. Thank you.